Hi, welcome to Think Tech. We're raising public awareness on technology, energy, diversity, and globalism. This show is center stage. I am your host, Donna Blanchard, proud managing director of Kumukuhua Theater. And we are coming to you live from Pioneer Plaza in the heart of downtown Honolulu, very near Kumukuhua Theater. I'm really excited about our guests today. Just in case you didn't know, the Pacific Ink and Art Fe uh, Expo is coming up here in Honolulu very soon. And I have three people at, sitting at the table who are participating there. It is Big Wave Dave, Little Chris, and Kevin Reed. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. I have wanted to have a tattoo artist on for quite a while, so now I get three because I've been waiting so long. <laughs> to clarify, I don't tattoo. You do not no, tattoo. I'm just the beautiful face of the expo. And you are the MC for the Correct. expo coming up. And how long have you been? It's the, the expo. This fifth, is the yeah. fifth year, mm -hmm. and this is your fifth year doing mm -hmm. it. Yep, started from the bottom. Now you're here. Yeah. Do you MC other gigs? <laughs> is that how you got? Uh, how did you no. Get them? Long story short, um, I was. Kevin's tattoo apprentice like a bazillion years ago and uh, I was on the radio at the time as a radio disc jockey and he called me up when he started to do the convention he's like you're good on the radio you're good talking to people so I need someone to come over and do this so that's how it started that's how you got it. And yeah. you're a, a media whore, to, as totally. you say. Okay. Yeah. And he that's likes it. to take his shirt off. So yeah, that's, that's it. So. Well, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. been in a happen. sorority, too. Yeah, but that, <laughs> many times when I was in college. Great. Kevin, let, let's jump over to you because sure. you are one of the creators of the expo. Is that correct? Yeah, there's four of us um, me, Daniel Kassler, Greg Fry, and Tom Hall. Okay, and you have several tattoo shops. I almost said parlor. See, this is how old-fashioned I am. What do you call them? Tattoo Places. shop. Tattoo yeah. shop. Okay. Yeah. So you have several. You have one in Waikiki yep. and one in Kailua. Yes. And anywhere else? I'm missing. Uh, Kaneohe. In Kaneohe. Yeah. Okay. And you decided we should have a reason to bring in tattoo artists from around the world. You know, um, we started this event off as as something that was, you know, I traveled around a lot and uh, we, we wanted to kind of draw a cultural aspect to the tattoo community that's in the mainland that doesn't know a lot of those kinds of things. So we figured, I mean, we could really make that happen a lot better and, and more real and intimate here, you know? So this is the opportunity for people like Keone Nunez, um, the, the Sulawapes from Samoa, um, people like that that could teach us and educate us, including myself. I mean, I'm, they educate me every single year more and more and more, mm. so. Very cool, very cool. Good job putting it together. Thanks. Did it, how big was it when it started? Um, how many people did you from, attract? From day one, I think we had 12,000. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, um, uh, our numbers are close to 20 now. So, I mean, it's, it's just a, a very growing thing every single year grows and grows and grows so it's it's a it's a great event I mean it goes all the way from tattooing hula to uh, music full kids zone I mean it's, it's a really really packed event awesome so. at, at we should say at the Blaisdell the August 5th 6th and 7th correct mm -hmm. correct yeah and you can get tickets online at Eventbrite and Ticketmaster Ticketmaster yeah Okay, and you guys, you, you can find you on Facebook pretty easily. Absolutely. Yeah, our, so we're on uh, Instagram, all of that stuff. You're, so. all, you're out there. Um, or you can get tickets there. The majority of our tickets are actually bought day of, oh, um, okay. right there at the box office. So. Okay, and uh, little Chris, how long have you been involved in the expo? Uh, I've been for the last five years. I've done them all. Oh. Um, so I've been fortunate to be able to tattoo at all of them. I've been with Kevin for the last year and a half now or so yeah but um yeah i look forward to it every year i mean it's good fun i mean it's just i get to see a lot of tattoo artists i only get to see at the convention so i mean a lot of them you know they're from around the world and the only time we really chat is on instagram or facebook and stuff like that so to finally get all the tattooers in one room it can be it can be pretty eventful so that is very cool i'm really looking forward to going this year it's my first time so uh, you, you just mentioned that there's music and hula and there's a kid zone. If I want to get a tattoo while I'm there, what do I need to know? 
bring your money. Because <laughs> do you need to cash? No, there's ATMs there. Okay. Um, um, some artists do take credit card also. Um, it was, a lot of people are set up with Square. So uh, definitely, I, I always tell people that uh, um, that's the, the question I'm asked all the time. What, what do we need to prep for when we do this? And I just tell them, bring your money because we're taking the best of the best from this island and best of the best from globally. I mean, and pretty much cramming, cramming them in one room and saying, you choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, which is pretty awesome because like he said, like, it's not just from, you know, here or even the mainland, it's the world. Like, you know, there's some, you know, people from Japan that come in that are just, you know, like I get starstruck when I see them, you know, being in the tattoo community for as long as I have, you know, and, and then also like what Chris said with, you know, your friends come in from all over the nation too. So I get to see people that I worked with when I was in Florida at a tattoo shop that I worked out down there with, you know, they come out here. So, you know, it's all, it's all one big happy, you know, community, so. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a great opportunity. I mean, I have a friend who flew to Brazil because there was an artist there that he wanted to do his neck piece. Mm -hmm. You know, you now here you can just go yeah. down the street. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to have all of these people in one spot. I'm right. not going to have a neck piece done. I thought about it a little <laughs> bit. I decided against well, it. Well, you never know. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. We'll hook you up, girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'd never get a neck piece tattooed, and then I ended up with hungry tattooed across my throat. And you got it. <laughs> Maybe another day, probably not, <laughs> probably not that weekend. But let me ask, because I am thinking there's kind of a wave of little tattoos going around. I don't know if you, I'm sure, have you had some people walk into the shop and say, I'd like to have a tiny little heart here. We usually give like those that. a little crisp, it's, you know, just, just because the tattoo. name, the size of the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of, it goes perfect. You know, yeah. I'm not even talking about hands. how tall he is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, small hands. <laughs> How do you feel about those? Are you like, yeah, I can just whip this out, no problem? Or are you like, man? I don't mind. I mean, if the person, if that's what they want, then yeah, we'll give it to them. But I mean, there has to be kind of a area where it's like, that's too small. Or, you know, that's too intricate, you know? I mean, some artists will just throw it on you and then later on it fades away or you don't see the detail. So mm -hmm. we kind of got to find, that we, we got to kind of come to an agreement where it's like, you know what, this is what you want and this is what I can do. They so. are carrying their art too. You know, it's a kind of a, a two-person deal yeah you're getting it done and you're going on their body but you're asking them to put their artistic talent into you you know and or reputation you. And right exactly. exactly and so yeah. they have to feel comfortable with it too you know yeah because it's so. i mean it's not just your tattoo it's my tattoo as well i mean it's my art you know i don't want them in a few years being like oh well this artist did this and mm -hmm. he could have done better but you know and it's like and that's where we kind of got to talk to people and let them know like hey you know just try to Maybe. help educate them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kind of steer them in the right direction. So, so you guys are coming in. The everybody's there with their your art that I can choose from, or I need to come in and bring. Here's uh, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I mean, if yeah. you bring in a design that you like, we can you know turn it into a tattoo for you. But at the same time, we also have our own artwork with us too. So, yeah, it, it really helps if you if you bring in something just so we're on the same page so when when these guys go to draw for you it's it's not they have to try to pull whatever you're thinking in your head out of your head mm -hmm. and then get it on paper if you can come in and go this is kind of what i'm thinking but design me something then they'll run through it and, and design you something really nice how do, uh, do you have any recollection of like the largest tattoo or largest amount of work that's been done at one of these expos I guess sometimes doesn't it take you got to come back later to get something finished? Well, a lot of those sometimes. tattoos, the tatao that they do there, I mean, they'll start in the morning and then go all the way to the doors <laughs> closed. That's so major to me. I'm always awestruck when I see that. Yeah. You, have you ever had that? Done? No, I've said every year I want to get it done, but either I'm too busy with, you know, working the stage or I check it out. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> be honest, yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a process. I mean, to go through that. Group, some yeah. pretty hardcore guys get tattooed by that, and just it's it's you got to be really focused. That's the it. that's the rite of passage right there. Right. Uh, yeah. I have a friend, a small woman who has she uh, yeah. uh, Munez Munez, the, the fellow Fiona. that you mentioned. Yeah. yeah, he did hers yeah. uh, over her shoulder, and it is so crystal clear. Yeah. I mean, it is it look it is really something to yeah, see. Cool. And of all people, that's who I'd want to have do it. Yeah. So are there some artists that they get a big line, you want to get there early if you want to get an ink from that person? I've never seen anybody slow. 
Hmm. So oh, just man. to just to throw that out there, um, if you come by our booth, Sacred Art Tattoo, or the Loyalty Tattoo booth, um, it's about a hundred feet long, and Imagine. it's crammed full of artists. And I mean, we have nineteen artists between all three shops, so they're busy all weekend. I mean, it's it's. I mean, at our booth, it, it really helps because <clears throat> we actually have people there that are helping you up front and can talk because most artists are looking down the whole time. I mean, that's oh. one of the, the biggest pe things that people tell me, the artists that come, is they say, you know, it was a great show, I think, but I had my head down the whole time, you know? Yeah. So they hear all the oh. noise and stuff going on and, and all the, the craziness going on around them and they're just so zoned in on their art for three days straight, they're like, Man, that was mm -hmm. that was crazy. <laughs> that is so cool for them and, and for all of us. We're we're gonna go to a break and then sure. I'd like to come back and talk about. You're gonna have some other celebrities, yeah, um, that are there. I'd like to talk about that and I'd also like to talk about how you guys got into uh, tattooing yourselves. Awesome. You know? And then maybe we'll get to see your tattoo. Okay. <laughs> take a close up, dude. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, we're gonna we go. take a little break. What's gonna happen? Uh, we'll be right back. Before we go, I want to let you know that you can um, tweet us if you have any questions while we're talking here at ThinkTechHI. We will see you on the other side of the break. Hey, everybody. My name is David Chang, and I am a new host for the show, The Art of Thinking Smart. I'm really excited to be able to share with you how to get the smart edge in life. We're going to have awesome guests in the military, business, political, nonprofit world. So no matter what background you're from, we have something for you. Please join us every other Thursday at 10 a.m. at thinktechhawaii.com or on theartofthinkingsmart.com. I look forward to seeing you. Aloha, I'm Kirsten Baumgart-Turner, host of Sustainable Hawaii. Thanks for watching Think Tech this summer. We have a lot of terrific shows of great importance, and I hope you'll watch my show too every Tuesday at noon as we address sustainability issues for Hawaii. They're really pertinent as the World Conservation Congress approaches in September and the World Youth Congress that's focusing on sustainability next year as well. Have a great summer and tune in at noon every Tuesday. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, Hawaii's leading digital media platform for civic engagement, raising public awareness on tech, energy diversification, and globalism. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Hello, I'm Patrick Bratton, host of Global Connections here on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm also a professor of political science at Hawaii Pacific University. So this show is one of the ways that we collaborate between Think Tech Hawaii and Hawaii Pacific University, where I talk on my show with a lot of guests about issues dealing with Hawaii, the United States, and the world. So I look forward to seeing and interacting with you uh, online and on my show. Thank you very much. Aloha, I'm Chantal Seville, the host of The Savvy Chick Show. You can watch the show every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Honolulu time and enjoy how to be inspired and empowered. If you're a woman or girl, everyone is welcome, but it's really dedicated to you. And we look forward to seeing you. You can also find us on thinktechhawaii.com. See you soon. Aloha. Hey, we're back. This is Center Stage on the Think Tech Hawaii Digital Network. If you would ever like to join us in the studio during one of the shows, you may do that. Just email Jay, that's J-A-Y, at thinktechhawaii.com, and he will hook you up. If you ever have an idea for a guest you would like for me to have on, you can find me at uh, on Twitter, it's all about Donna, and Facebook, Donna.Blanchard. Okay, and I'm back with the tattoo gentleman here and um, I, I'd like to we, we do want to see your tattoo you know, we don't we don't normally get a lot of viewers live but do you want to say if someone can guess what the tattoo is well I have a couple of tattoos that you can see but low what go ahead well I have a tram stamp so I mean if you know what a tram stamp is all about you know it's I don't know what it's, so they call them tram stamps because I guess it's kind of like you know, it's in a trampy spot. It's on your lower back. So, um, but I, I, I got something back there. <laughs> so, yeah. you can guess what my <laughs> stamp is. His man stamp. My I man like, stamp. I like a man, man stamp. stamp. It sounds like, you know. <laughs> it makes you feel like I'm, I got, you know, a hand on Let's a man. Let's see if you can like, okay, well, guess what that is. I don't know that we're going to we're gonna see that. But we could probably oh, see you what see you've it. got I'll up here. Yeah. <laughs> see, it's conveniently low. If you, if you think you're going to keep your shirt on during this, yeah. no. Sad but happening. that, okay, so um, we'll figure out what we're going to do by the end of the show for right. that. Okay. I mean, as far as what we're, 
how much clothes you're are taking Are we going to have a giveaway? Oh, gotcha. All that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. giveaways. Giveaways are cool. Chris, we're giving away Chris. <laughs> yeah. Giveaways are cool. Yeah. Um, let's just, uh, so you can tweet your questions if you have any for us or comments. Think Tech HI. Um, and uh, let me ask you fellows, if you would, tell the story of, because I, I, you know, here on Center Stage, I always talk with artists and um, I, we always talk about what people do and how they do it, but I'm really most interested in why. You're both clearly artists um, and you could have gone in a lot of different directions with the, the talent that is in your hands and, and your eyes, right? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I was around tattooers since I was in high school. I mean, I was tattooed all, I had sleeves almost in high school. And um, yeah, and I went to Kalaheo High School in Kailua. And, um, and I've just always been around tattoo artists. And I mean, I was going in Aloha Tattoo in Kailua when Larry Hanks owned it in the seventh grade, you know? Um, I was friends with his son. So Jacob, and for me, what got me into it was was I was always really drawn towards that or building hot rods. I knew I wanted to do one one of those two things, and um, I ended up fortunately I, I flew to Arizona from here and learned from Christopher Ramsey and Ronnie Belton, and they they uh, it was about a year and a half break in apprenticeship, and we would need a whole other show to talk about that. How that happened? Yeah. So, but then from there, um, I just branched off, went up into Oregon, opened up a couple shops, and that's where I met Dave. And, um, and then sure magic happened. And decided to come back home. <laughs> wow, so. okay. Okay, uh, do you, did your parents have uh, tattoos? Is that how? Uh, no, how you... my mom actually got one. Um, she got a, a little dolphin on her ankle and cried like a baby. <laughs> so, and actually what's funny is to this day, my mom, every time she'll notice a new one on me, Honey, you gotta stop this. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> but my mom comes out to the tattoo expo every yeah. single year and works the front for us and is selling T-shirts. Ah, <laughs> uh, how nice. So, nice. how nice. Cool. Okay, Zuri's asking me if you can take your sunglasses off. Sure. <laughs> Thanks. I think you're, we're getting a glare. I don't want to okay. detract no from problem. your story. That's interesting. So what, I have to ask one more question. They they freaked out. Your mom freaked out just a little bit, but stood behind you. May I ask? Um, yeah, I was born in the 60s, and mm -hmm. if I had in the 70s said, yeah, I'm in you know, the Chicago area, I'm going to get a tattoo, like the town would have been in an uproar. Yeah. That was not such a big deal here, I'm taking it. You know, it, it was. There, there wasn't a lot, of, a lot of kids that were heavily tattooed like us, you know. Um, but it's, it's the culture out here. I mean, everybody out here is tattooed. So and in the state of Hawaii, there isn't an age. I mean, kids can go get tattooed at whatever age they want, as long as their parents give consent. We don't do that, but um, I mean, we, you got to be 18 to get tattooed at our shop. But the, the state of Hawaii just—it's—it's it's hard for them to stop that from happening because it's a cultural aspect. So. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if there there's a lot. Uh, had I showed up in high school with a tattoo, right. there would have been, you know, way beyond the tramp stamp. It would have been, <laughs> there's something wrong with that. You know, she's going to cause trouble. Yeah. Would have been the assumption. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, tattoos have really been pulled out of that now. I mean, it's all over TV. It's, um, I mean, my, uh, my business partner on the tattoo expo is in this building, Greg Fry. I mean, he's a, one of the most successful uh, lawyers in town. And, the guy is covered in tattoos. You would never know it. The guy is slung down. I mean, full back piece, arms, chest, stomach. I mean, the guy is completely tattooed. Uh, Keone Nunez hand tapped his whole entire, I think, right leg. So it's, wow. it's I mean, nowadays, lawyers, doctors, I mean. And here, yeah, you see it on the main, a lot more on the mainland also, but. Yeah. Here, I moved here and thought, man, now is the time. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Chris? Oh, for me, I, I became a, uh, back in 2009, a good friend of mine, his dad is a tattoo artist. And I went to him to get a tattoo. And he was like, oh, what do you want to get done? And I brought in some of my artwork, a bunch of my drawings. And he was like, wow, this is real nice drawings, you know? And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I sketch here and there. And um, I got tattooed and came back, did the same thing. And he asked me, and he's like, well, have you ever thought about pursuing tattooing? Like doing something with your art? And for me, art was the only thing I was really good at. You know, I mean, I'd sit back with a pencil and paper and I'd just draw for hours. And then um, he offered me an apprenticeship. So for the next year, I scrubbed floors and 
did a lot of um, dirty work and slowly moved my way up to becoming a tattoo artist. How so, old were you when you started being the apprentice? Oh, 2009. What was that? 2012? Yeah, 12 ish. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was 20, well, shit, 23, 24, around yeah. that age. So, but it was tough work. I, I did the full blown apprenticeship of uh, building machines, um, making needles, learning. I think proper the first, way. yeah, the proper way. Thank you. The first three months, I don't even think I was allowed to even touch a tattoo machine at all. All I did was just read the history about all these guys that like pioneered the way for us, you know, like um, Sailor Jerry, Lyle Tuttle, you know, all these old school guys that like to me are rock stars, you know, without yeah. them, we wouldn't be where we are now. Yeah. And Lyle Tuttle's at the show. Yeah. The he, he was on the man. cover of uh, Rolling Stones magazine, I think mm -hmm. it was in the 70s, he tattooed Janis Joplin. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, really that cool guy. He stays at my Disney house every year shows. when he comes out. Mm -hmm. and he's, he's a blast. I mean, you could drag him in here and he'd love to do this, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, he's going to have a drink in his hand the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <That's nice>. I <laughs> get so nervous with them there because they're in the booth with us. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like oh, doing yeah. tattoos and they're looking over and I'm just sweating because it's so nerve wracking to have these guys watching you tattoo. And yeah. it's like, holy. You could go to the expo and get a tattoo by the guy who tattooed Janis Joplin? Is that well, what you're telling me? Technically, yeah. well, yeah, technically, because now his deal is, is he doesn't tattoo anymore, but once a day. And he'll only tattoo his name on you. Mm -hmm. But technically, you could get a tattoo by the man that tattooed Janis yeah. Joplin. It depends, man. He loves women. Yeah. I mean, if true. you walked up to him and said, will can you do I, a flower on can me? Can I talk him about no. a flower? Like, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you could talk to him about macaroni and cheese, and he'll... Boom. I want to sit down and trade recipes with you. I'm going to come and I'm going to sweet talk that man and see if I can get He'll yeah, probably end up sweet talking you for a bit. Yeah. Actually, oh, yeah? So. Lyle, Lyle Tuttle's the guy that's always got. Let me pour you young a drink and pop out a bottle of, of uh, tequila and a bottle of orange juice and mix it right up. Grapefruit, yeah. yeah. Oh. And he's rolling around on his little cart, you know, yeah. and he's got two or three young women with him always, right. you know. Yeah, the There's always someone hanging with him. Oh, I mean, the guy's a total stud. Yeah, because he's a rock star. Yeah. He's a rock star. How old were you when you got your first one? Oh, I was, the day I turned 18, I ran, because I, you know, living in Oregon, they had that law, whereas out here where it's more of a cultural thing where, you know, they don't have that situation back in Oregon, it was, you know, stick to the rules, so... You know, coming from, uh, you know, my dad's a retired pastor, and uh, I ran to the tattoo, and and I probably... Preacher son, I'm getting the picture prob now. I <laughs> probably <laughs> got told that I needed to move out of the house. So. <laughs> okay, we just have a couple more minutes left, and I, so I'd like to ask you guys, I... I um, I enjoy watching the tattoo shows like LA Inc. and mm -hmm. the, what's the one where they cover up mistakes? Mm. Big Gus, Tattoo Nightmares. Yeah, so Tattoo there, Nightmares. So Big Gus is actually there, Tattoo Nightmares, uh, Ruthless from LA Inc., mm -hmm. uh, Megan Massacre from New York Inc., and she's on some, some other new show. Um, I, I can't remember which one that one is, but yeah, I mean, we got a, a handful, all the Ink Master people are there, Oliver mm -hmm. Peck, I think he's there this year. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, wow. That's, that's cool to be able to see them. We yeah, actually get to, get to watch their work, and then you can go in and get a tattoo from them. Yeah, and you yeah. can sit down with them, too. They'll take, they'll take appointments the whole time. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a good idea for people to get there early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. if you have someone in particular in mind Absolutely. that you'd like to do your and, work. Or reach out to these people before, before uh, yeah. the show. Hit them on Facebook. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people, oh. I, I've really been noticing... Um, the last couple of years, people are posting, hey, thank you very much, Why I'm booked for Pacific Ink and Art Expo 2016, you know? So, and this is like a couple months ahead of time. So, not saying everybody's going to be booked, but if there's a specific artist that you want to tattoo you, hit them up. And okay. you can get all their social media. Go to our website, hawaiitattooexpo.com, and you can get all of that, that uh, social media or, or the list of people that are that are going to be there attending. And you can see examples of their work. You can find yeah. examples of their work. That's exactly. cool, too, to see. Like, I know you specialize in more um, monochromatic stuff. It's more like, uh, over the last two years, I've been focusing more on realism. Mm -hmm. So detailed work, like, I mean, people bring in, like, actual photos of turtles, tigers, um, photos of their family members, things like that. And that's what I try to base my work off of now. Oh, wow. So when over at the shop, that's all Kevin throws at me is. <laughs> No, all you know the, what the big, all the fun stuff. All the big draw now is everyone wants those watercolor looking tattoos. Yeah, and that's all I've been doing lately. So yeah. oh. watercolor. So where it has that so. like watercolory splats and all that stuff around it, which yeah. is.
completely out of the norm okay. of what I've done for the last 17 years, you know? So, yeah, Interesting, because it looks more, more airbrushed. Tattoo, she's a tattoo, like a traditional tattoo artist. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, in my era, when, when, I, when I learned, we weren't doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. If you came Golden in for that, Black. we'd be like, what? No, we're not, mm -hmm. we don't do that. Oh, yeah. You know? So. Okay, so, is, yeah, what will you say, first of all, um, if someone comes in and it appears like they've been drinking for a little while, yeah, sit down. Okay. is that just <laughs> yeah? <laughs> grab me one. Yeah. Did you bring enough for the whole class? Exactly. <laughs> you got to share with everyone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's not if someone needs to have a bracer before they so go no, in. That's not a they're, problem. They're they're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. I mean, what the health department rules are is if if they're drinking, they can't get tattooed. Yeah. Um, that's the that's the rules. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about us though. But you I mean, can be right. shrinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as I keep my hands steady. I drink the whole time. Yeah. I'm, I'm a lot of people get that. <laughs> Just one <laughs> eye the, the whole MC, time. You can right. yeah. yeah. I'm sorry we have to wrap it up. I've mm -hmm. really enjoyed talking so with all of you. So we're wrapping it up. I'm unwrapping it. Okay. <laughs> so let's see it. And we don't have any like giveaway or anything that we're gonna have with this. But we've got some more pictures of your work that we'll post once we get this up on um, okay. YouTube. Awesome. And. Who did your piece? Uh, his your stomach name piece, is your stomach plate. Um, James Hunter. James Hunter. Yep, he used to work for Kevin at his loyalty Kai Lewis shop. Okay. And uh, that's where. And there it is. There it is a big old board. Wow. Oh, that is cool. Okay. I can...